Hey folks, a little comfortable, a little more comfortable across the valley tonight as temperatures falling into the low to mid 70s. We'll continue to go down from here, probably into the 60s valley wide, courtesy of some drier air that came in aboard a cool front this afternoon. Not a particularly strong front, but we'll probably be about 10 degrees cooler tonight than we were last night, except at the coast, staying a little warmer there. And then tomorrow, back in the 80s again, pretty much valley wide, east northeast winds continue at 10 to 20 miles an hour. But again, low humidity, bright sunshine should look like a pretty nice day out there. 86 is the normal high, and we're going to be at 87 tomorrow, so pretty close to where we should be this time of year. A little bit cooler on Wednesday, but not a lot. And then Thursday, back up to 88 degrees once again. If we look at the seven day trend, though, look what happens when we get to Friday. Boom, the numbers drop dramatically, courtesy of another front that's due in Thursday night, early Friday. And then we're slow to warm up through the weekend, 74, 81. And then by Monday, we're back above average again. Doppler Network's been quiet tonight, just ground clutter left over on there. And Future Track says it stays quiet all night long and during the daytime tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies. Looks like a really pretty day across the area. Tomorrow night, skies stay mainly clear. During the daytime Wednesday, partly to mostly sunny again. Can't rule out an evening shower or thunder shower on Wednesday, but the daytime hours should be dry. If you look at the rain chances, we've got about a 30% chance in there for Wednesday late, like Wednesday night. And then Thursday, about a 50% chance. We're talking late in the day again. Primarily during the overnight hours, there's spotty stuff during the day, but the better chance at night. And then early in the morning on Friday, things taper off, and by the weekend, we are dry once again. The rest of South Texas, here's where temperatures are right now. 71 in Fowl, 73 in Corpus. San Antonio is only 65. Victoria at 63. Same thing as Dallas. 53 in San Angelo and 48 tonight in Lubbock. Big storms last night in North Texas, big storms last night in South Texas, but it's all moved out for all of Texas. Tonight, things are clearing out quickly. Just some leftover clouds here. That's about it. The front moves away, triggers some showers down to the south of us. By Wednesday, the flow comes back off the Gulf of Mexico. Southeast wind will bring some moisture back in. Maybe a late night shower. Better chance on Thursday into Thursday night. Here comes the next front. It's due in overnight Thursday, early Friday, turning it much cooler for Friday. You saw those highs only in the upper 60s on Friday with clouds lingering, maybe a few showers for much of the day. Hopefully by Friday night football, the cool temperatures build in and the rain builds out. But there's at least a chance even into the evening for a leftover shower or two. Traveling in the morning, San Antonio starts with sunny and 56 degrees. Dallas is 50, Houston 57. These are all 7 a.m. temperatures, as you can see by afternoon. What a beautiful day across Texas. Sunshine wall to wall, 70s and 80s for the most part. Quick check of the coast. Here's what's happening. Winds out of the northeast, 15 to 25 knots. The bay is choppy. UV is high. The bay temperature, surf temperature both at 81. So for tonight, 67. Clear to partly cloudy. Much cooler than the last couple of nights. And then tomorrow, 87, but lower humidity. That's the real key. Northeasterly winds about 10 to 20. Your first one, five accurate. The forecast for the next seven days. We warm it up into Thursday. Chance of showers and then much cooler on Friday. No warmer than about 69 degrees. Long range models do show another front about the middle part of next week. So another shot, one after another. The cool fronts are coming in. That's your updated first one five. Accu with the forecast. Hey, Erica.